Hello, everybody. It's Mr. Cole Hat, Principal of the Edinburgh Kindergarten Academy. And we're here for World Read Aloud Day. And what I'm going to do today is I want to read aloud one of my favorite books with you, A Sick Day for Amos McGee. World Read Aloud Day is tomorrow, Wednesday. And what we're encouraging is we're encouraging all families to get together and to read a book together. A Sick Day for Amos McGee. Amos McGee was an early riser. Every morning, when the alarm clock changed, he swung his legs out of bed and swapped his pajamas for a fresh pressed uniform. He would wind his watch and set a pot of water to boil, saying to the sugar bowl, a spoonful for my oatmeal, please, and two for my teacup. Belly full and ready for the workday, he'd amble out the door. Every day, Amos waited for the number five bus. Next stop, City Zoo, the bus driver would call. 6 a.m., right on time, he'd reply. Amos had a lot to do at the zoo, but he always made time to visit his good friends. He would play chess with the elephant, who thought and thought before making a move. He would run races with the tortoise, who never, ever lost. He would sit quietly with the penguin, who was very shy. He would lend a handkerchief to the rhinoceros, who always had a runny nose. And at sunset, he would read stories to the owl, the owl who was afraid of the dark. One day, Amos awoke with the sniffles and the sneezes and the chills. He swung his achy legs out of bed, curled them back again and said, look, I don't think I'm gonna be going to work today. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the zoo, the animals waited for their friend. The elephant arranged his paws and polished his castles. The tortoise stretched his legs and limbered up. The penguin sat patiently all by himself. The rhinoceros worried that his allergies were worsening. The owl perched atop a tall stack of storybooks, scratching his head with concern. Where is Amos, the animals wondered. Later that day, it looks like the animals are leaving the zoo. I think they're concerned about Amos. Oh, looks like all the animals are getting on the bus. Hooray, my good friends are here. All the animals came to see Amos because they missed him so much on that day. The elephant prepared a game of chess. Amos thought and thought before making a move. I'm too tired to run races today, said Amos to the tortoise. Let's play hide and seek instead. The tortoise hid inside his shell. Amos hid beneath the covers. Amos yawned. I could use a nap. The penguin sat quietly, keeping Amos's feet warm. Achoo! Amos awoke with a sneeze. The rhinoceros was ready with a handkerchief. I'm beginning to feel much better, thank you, said Amos. To his friends, he swung his legs out of bed. Perhaps we'll share a pot of tea. Amos wound his alarm clock. It's getting late, he said. After all, we have a morning bus to catch. So Amos said good night to the elephant, and good night to the tortoise, and good night to the penguin, and good night to the rhinoceros, and good night to the owl, who, knowing that Amos was afraid of the dark, read his story aloud before turning out the light. As you can see, all the animals from the zoo had a sleepover at Amos's house that night. So boys and girls, just like you are all good friends, sometimes when we need friends and we need to go help a friend, it's always nice to be there. And I know here at the Kindergarten Academy, we're working hard on being good friends to each other. So I hope you enjoyed one of my favorite books, A Sick Day for Amos McGee and Parents and Children, Enjoy World Read Aloud Day, and we hope to hear a lot of stories about you guys 
reading books together tomorrow, Wednesday, on World Read Aloud Day. Everyone have a great night.